Oh, so we started way down there in that tree. Way down there, got up into this tree, moved over into there, and then passed over here. So it was uh it was quite the trip guys. And what's up y'all? It's Jose here with Captain Hook Tree Climbing. Thank you for visiting the channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you like the kind of content you've seen on my channel, if you haven't seen that much of my channel, make sure to go look at some more stuff. And uh, please consider subscribing, y'all. So in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing this rope wrench tether. It's the Fusion rope wrench tether made by Notch and it's a really cool product it's a really it's fun to use uh, mainly because there's this spring right here at the top and it gives the rope wrench that much more energy to engage itself uh, yeah well with the whole mechanics of everything of you sitting into it and that spring being there it engages the rope wrench to about there so it puts a bend in the rope uh that's what you want because you don't want your hitch binding up so that was like one of my main pet peeves with any of the other rope wrench tethers it was it was cumbersome and just inconvenient because whenever you wanted your hitch to be working smoothly and properly it might not be that reliable. The one thing you want to avoid doing is using a hitch cord that is too short. So a 24 inch cord is not really going to help you out a lot. So right here we have a 24 inch I and I. Right? So this is a 24 inch. I'm going to show you guys why you shouldn't use that short of a hitch. So the main issue that I have noticed is we're going to call these legs. We're going to call these legs right here. And these legs, they need to be a little bit longer in order to give you a little bit more sit back, right? So that's one of the things, uh, one of the reasons why you might want this because you want less sit back. But in reality, for this setup, you want some sit back. You really do. Cause look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tend slack. We're going up the rope and boom. You're barely engaging the rope wrench here. Um, it's better than most other tethers, but, um, or on par with them. So I guess it's not that bad. If this is something you wanna use, I mean, go ahead. You, do whatever you feel like is right for you okay but I wouldn't personally use that short of a hitch cord the main advantage of that is that if a branch were to slide down the rope it wouldn't hit the top of your hitch so you'll be protected from free falls so that is a, a positive thing okay that's a 24 inch I'm gonna try a 30 inch you take one of the eyes, put it in your carabiner, set it right there. Put the rope inside the pulley, close the sheath. Put your carabiner through the hole and then attach the other leg of your eye and eye. That rope wrench, man, it's doing its job right there. You see? Oh, 
Wow, that is so good, guys. I'm telling you, this right here is what you want every single time. You want this rope wrench to be engaged. Engaged means it has that bend in the rope. And as long as it has that bend in the rope, your hitch is always gonna be uh, the same way you left it when you tied it. After you finish dress and setting it, um, you know, it, it's, it's gonna stay exactly like that. It's not gonna change that much. Um, it's really good, guys. I like it a lot. And this pulley here does have a ball bearing in it. I'm using a DMM Rhino here. So you guys are free to use any other carabiner. I do like this one. It has that wide upper portion and it just facilitates uh, the proper placement and uh, it's just a good setting for that system here. You see? So there it is. All right, y'all. So um, now that we just kind of broke it down a little bit kind of told you a little bit about the spring here and that there's a ball bearing sheath you got and let me see the overall workmanship of this tether is it's really good it's really surprising how well built this looks it looks very high quality um it has that really nice finish it's kind of it kind of reminds me of the rope runner pro that kind of a finish, it, it's so good. Uh, it looks so nice, very professional. Thank you, Notch. You do have some tether attachment points here. So a chest harness attachment, All right? So I, I clip up in there. See, you can't really clip up into there that much not at the bottom of it kind of got to clip up into the top of this one and it might fall through a little bit and it'll just pull you up right you pull it right up so there's that what else I want to tell you guys a few more things about it All right, y'all, so for some of the negatives that I've uh, encountered with this tether is that the build quality on this is really good, but when you side load this, when this comes into contact with a branch on its side and there's pressure there, it actually, you it flexes. And I know that with the old tethers, you really didn't have to worry about that because side loading that tether wasn't gonna make or break your hitch. You know what I'm saying? It, it was gonna be uh, basically indifferent. There was gonna be no change. With this tether, you can bend it and side load it all you wanted, right? But not this one. Up to this point in the video, I've given you all the advantages, but to leave it plain and simple is that this hitch is going to help your rope wrench engage uh, almost immediately and it's never gonna just sag down. You're never gonna get that situation. That situation, it, it has never occurred while climbing on this device. So um, call me a liar if you want, but it's the truth, man. It, that's what I want it for, that's why I like it, and that's what made me go out and seek one of these. So anyway, let's move up this rope. Let's get the GoPro mounted on the helmet. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what we can do on this tether. All right. All right. So if you ever needed to use this as a handle, I mean, I guess it's there for that. You could kind of Yep. There you go. And so now, lock in that foot ascender. Get me hooked up there. And. <laughs> so 
So here we're going to see how well the rope wrench engages right now. See, that's really good. So Sir, let's see how it engages real quick. Boom. That's perfect. Yeah, it's really perfect, guys. It's um it's a something that I'm going to recommend to you. So go ahead, try it. I got mine from treestuff.com. You guys are more than welcome to visit their website. The link will be in the description below. All right, so what I'm about to do is I want to tie, I want to move my anchor up there. So I'm going to very quickly advance it because my system is already adapted for that kind of a situation. And I'll show you how. Okay. So the rope wrench is off. Anyways, y'all, here it is. Very quickly can reattach my system to myself. Once my, once my line is set and I'm happy with where it is, I can just quickly begin assembling my hitch. through the pulley Alright, so here I'm going to demonstrate once again how simple it is to remove the fusion rope wrench tether. Here it is once again. You can demonstrate how easy it is to attach. So we're going to go up front, take four wraps or three. One, two, three.
right. So we are moving along here. Traversing without a captain hook is treacherous. Treacherous, but uh, nevertheless, it can always be done. Just with a little patience and a lot of climbing, lots of climbing knowledge, uh, just learning how to add anchors, move your anchor, all that kind of stuff. Have the, the foresight to know what you'll need. All right, so we got a little bit of hitch slippage. So that's slippage, yeah. Not creep. Slippage. Alright. Um. Let's try to jump out onto that thing. I want to grab that crotch there. But. All right, I'll come down the tree a little bit more, make it a little bit easier since they're a little bit closer here. The bottom, okay. All right, so right there, that's one of those situations that uh, you want to avoid side loading it. I'm um, not side loading it right now, but uh, let me just get a lanyard on. Pass my DRT system around to the other side. Okay. And next, get myself some slack there. Throw that on there. Here we go.
Okay. We can try something here. Should I go back down and get that tail? Nah. This, I want to advance my tying point here. Long. <laughs> okay, good. Left nice long, long tail at the end of it there, just for this reason. How do I feel about that? I think I feel pretty good about that one. So we're just gonna keep the lanyard on. All right, so we're basically at the end of the climb and want to just uh, give a shout out to all those new guys hopping on board with Captain Hook Tree Climbing. Um, make sure you drop a like, a subscribe. Uh, if you like this kind of content and want to continue seeing it, please uh, let me know. Uh, the best way to do that is by just leaving a comment and uh, tagging me in it. So anyway, going to just repel out of here and then give you a few last thoughts on the Fusion Rope Wrench Tether. That was a lot of fun. Ah, man, it's... It's so good to be back climbing, working on the YouTube channel. I know I was away for a little while, but um, to all my subscribers, to everyone who watches my videos, thanks for coming back again. And uh, here's to a, a great season. Um, and I wish you guys all the best. All right, y'all. So um, I really hope that you guys were able to capture um, all that video um, and I 
really hope you liked it too. Um, anyway, my final thoughts about this tether is, um, well, uh, by the time this video comes out, one will already be out that kind of shows how this behaves on a spar. So when you're doing spar work, you're blocking it down and uh, you're doing your whole thing there. This tether might not be uh, the best use for that situation. You're better off using something shorter like the Akimbo, even the Rope Runner Pro. That's still kind of long. Use something else that you can side load or that has less of a chance of being side loaded. It's a little bit flexible. Uh, cause for concern, I don't know. That's up to you guys to decide. I think it's a great tether. I've used it on spars. It works, you know, okay, but there's, there's a better way. There's always a better way. That's the Fusion Rope Wrench Tether review right there. And I will be posting more videos featuring this tether with the rope wrench. Till next time, y'all.